All right, to take down the slide, first thing you want to do, I'm going to kill the blower. Once you turn the blower off, take the tube off of the blower. Also want to open up the other tube. The more openings you have, the quicker you're going to get this slide down. Now make sure you open the flaps. You can certainly walk on it. The easiest way to get the air out, take your shoes off and just walk around on it. Be real careful. The kids like to jump on it and it's not as firm as they think. Uh, so make sure if you do have kids and they're wanting to get on it, just make sure they're careful and they're not, not being crazy and jumping on it because they'll go straight down to the ground even though it's all puffy, they think they can bounce. As the slide's deflating, you can go ahead and pull all those stakes out, pull the uh, straps up. Make sure you collect all those stakes, put them back in that orange bag. Uh, we're going to count them when they come back. Then you're going to have, uh, if it's, you're by yourself, it just takes a little longer. If you got two people, get one on each end. Just fold the whole side from front to back to the center, just over to the middle. And then take the other side and fold it over as well. After you fold it, you're going to walk around on it. Make sure you get all the air out. That's the trick to getting it rolled up tight to where you can get it back in your vehicle, is to walk on it. If you can get a handful of people to walk on it, that's great. If you only have one person or two people, it just takes a little bit more time. But you definitely want to take that time in and uh, walk on it, get all the air out. Get the hose tucked in, get all the air in, get all the air out. Put the two straps before you start rolling it. It's easier to get the two straps set up. So when you get done rolling, you're, all you got to do is roll right on top of the straps. Strap it up. You definitely want to strap this thing before you put it in the bag. It's a lot harder. Once you get all the air out, it's folded in half. Just make sure everything's tucked in. You're going to start on the uh, opposite end of where the straps are. The tighter you can roll it from the beginning, the tighter it's going to be when you're done. The tighter it is, the easier it is to handle get back in your vehicle. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just got to be able to strap it, put it back in the bag. We are going to blow it up when we get it back from you. We're going to dry it out really good, sometimes overnight in our warehouse. And we're going to clean it, vacuum it, disinfect it, and get it ready for the next rental. Just going to open the flap down here and I'll probably roll it to that end. See all that air coming out. Once it's completely uh, squeezed out at the end, I'm gonna roll it back just a little bit, tuck the end in just to protect that vinyl. Once you get it strapped, the best way to bag it is simply to take one of the end and stand it up on end. Once you get it stood up, then you're gonna throw the bag over it. These things are pretty heavy, but they're pretty easy to move around. It's not like you have to lift it up. You just got to be able to move it. Throw that bag over it. It's going to protect it. All right, once you get the bag on it, then you just flip it over again. And that'll allow you to uh, close up the bag. And it'll be ready to, to put up. Get the tarp up the blower, check all the nails, make sure you have all the nails, put them back in the bag, count them up real good, don't want to leave them out in the grass, somebody get hurt, and you're ready to bring it back, that's a backyard slide.